Hello and welcome to another Friday Tech Tip. This is Matt Romney with the State of Utah and I'll be doing your Tech Tip today. Today we're going to talk about Google Tasks. Now I've already done two other segments on Google Tasks, but both of those dealt with the Google Mail window. So we were always dealing with tasks from within here. You've got your email, you've got your task list, uh, you went to your tasks from here to pull that list up. We even talked about how to create a task from an email. So let me go back to that. Let's say I've got this email here that I want to create a task from. So if you remember right, we went to More, Add to Tasks, and it puts it here in my list. So let's say I want to put a due date on this. We're going to put the due date as today. And then I won't add notes, but we do have the related email link here. And we're going to go back to list. OK. Now, someone asked about how to use tasks, tasks in Google Calendar. And I hadn't done that much. But then as I walked past someone else's desk, I saw them using tasks in Google Calendar and had done something I had never seen done before. So I'm still learning. It's so much fun to learn something new from one of you because we all know different ways to use a computer and we can all help each other by sharing those different ways to use it. So what I had seen was that when she created a task right here, now you can see here I've got these red ones are my tasks up in this top window which has up until now I thought it only had all day events but it also has tasks up in here because there's not a specific time of day assigned to that, to that task. It's just due that day. But if I click here, I can create a new task. Instead of an event, you just choose the task. And let's say tomorrow I want to, well, I need to send out Friday Tech Tip email. And the due date is already the date that I selected, create task. Now I should probably correct that spelling. Send out email. And then the, the task that I created from the email is here, comp plan business analysis invitation to collaborate. Now that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, so I'll change the title of that. Link comp plan documents to Smartsheet. And then I don't need any of that. OK, so the due date's there. Close that. So all of the functionality that we talked about previously is still here. You can send it to another list just by moving it to that list. Um, you can close that. now. If you move it to another list, I've only been able to find a way to show one list at a time. So for instance, I have two lists, Matt Romney's list and Tech Tip list. So if I, cl if I click on Tech Tip list, all those tasks from the other list disappear, and I'm just left with the tasks from, the f from my Tech Tip list. So you have to understand if you have multiple lists, only one list of tasks will show on your calendar at a time. So I'm going to go back to Matt Romney's list where I can see those tasks. That's great. Now, one really nice thing is if I decide, you know what, I'm not going to get to this today, I can grab a task and just move it to the next day, and it's that easy. If I finish something, I can check it here, and it shows that it's completed. Um, so it's really easy to handle tasks here. They're on your calendar, on a date that they're due on. You can move them forward. You can select them as completed. Um, if you do need to delete it again, like I said, just go in here and click the delete. So everything you do with your tasks up here is also reflected in your list on the right-hand side, and you also have all the list functionalities that you do in the mail window. Thank you for those of you that gave me the suggestions and the uh, the idea is to look into this, and I'm so excited that this is now how I'm using my tasks in Google Calendar. Uh, 
before, it didn't make as much sense to me. So thank you again. I hope this has helped you find a new way and better way to use Google Tasks in your Google Calendar. If you have any questions, give me a call, send me an email, or I use the form on the, Google, on the Employee Gateway. And I'll love to answer your questions and even hear how you're using it differently than what I've showed you here. So thanks again. Have a great weekend.